What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital and we are back for another Premier League review show. We've got a packed house, full house here with the boys. Seb, Damo, Kev's in the building, Bits and Bobs and the Aussie Gunnar Steve. What's going on lads? What's happening? Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm great. I don't know about you. I'm great. Listen, we won. Three goal, three points. Liverpool He's dropped point. It's all good. He's not doing so good. <laughs> uh, uh, so, some, teams this some, some teams got humbled this week. Some teams got humbled this week. Yeah, back to reality we go for some clubs, huh? But um, look, we'll go the the um the game that kicked off the round. Yeah, it always seems to be Arsenal. Yeah, I think the Premier League trying to get that pre drinks in, but Arsenal keep ruining the party. It's not fair, you know. They they were they were giving them the pre drinks when they were getting pumped five nil, three nil. And now, and now, like they're getting the results, which is not not the not the greatest, but um, of course it is. <laughs> but we'll go we'll go to Steve. Steve, um, what was it three three nil? Uh, two nil, two nil, two nil for Arsenal. Um, was it just the two goals. Steve was shouting for three. I seen it. I seen his live uh, Insta. He was he was calling for three. Mm-hmm. They're not good enough for three, but anyway. Uh, we're good enough for three, sweetheart. Don't worry. When we come for you guys, it'll be three. Don't worry about that, darling. Yeah, I don't know. We'll give you three. Can get three. <laughs> oh, there we go. Against Tottenham? Against Tottenham? Yes, every club can get three. Yeah, they, they, you can see it. You can see it, at, you, you can see it against Tottenham. So it's, you know, it's all right. Not everyone can keep a clean sheet. But um, Steve, uh, <laughs> you guys are in some form at the moment, man. Arteta at the wheel. What's going on? What's going on there, look, mate? Look, He's saying, back. Look, mate, defensively, defensively, we're sound. Defensively, I've always said it. We're, like for the last four weeks, we're sound, and I look at it that way. He's finally pulled his head in, playing a flat formation of four four two. And I look at my defenders, and I haven't said they're the best defenders in the league, but I say we've got one of the best defensive lines in the league and a half decent keeper. And the way I see it, George Graham days. If you don't concede goals, then you're guaranteed <laughs> one point or three. Did you just call George Graham with a back four of a bunch of pensioners and uh, scams their own goals? And you're calling, calling George Graham? Do they even hey. know who George Graham is? Those oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. didn't even know what number Vieira wore. What the hell? I don't give a shit if That's everyone knows who the fuck he is. All right? I don't care if he knows who his missus is. As long as he comes out on the pitch and puts in a performance, it doesn't matter to me what he does in his free time. He could go wear a bloody tutu for all I care. Mate, it's all good. Well, that's what Bomiang's wearing at the moment, eh? Bit of a tutu oh, there yeah. for uh, Bomiang. Tutu, but yeah, no. Look, there was a, it was. Um, I was expecting us to win that game, to be honest, guys. I know everyone's like, oh, how could you expect it? Sionsu in the back three didn't look good, and we took advantage of that early on. Yep. Um, Saka, in the first minute, he had a chance, guys. And that was Sionsu not being able to hold on to him. Um, we exposed them early. We got our goals early, and I know we sat back. And I know they had the possession, and I know had they created chances. But end of the day, they couldn't break through. We came out with three points, and they came out with nothing to show for it. Um, end of the day, I'll take three points any which way we get them. Plain and simple, guys. I, but show. are you are you concerned, Steve, at all? But are you concerned because mm-hmm. you're you're saying they didn't break through? I mean, I, I seen them cut through your defense a few times. Uh, sometimes playing the ball mm-hmm. over the top. Sometimes through um, through your center backs. It was it was your keeper that had. Probably one of the best performances we've seen it from a keeper, mm-hmm. you know, this this season. You know, Bar Mendy, he's probably up there. And like I think we've seen, yeah. was it um, Peter Schmeichel said said that the the free kick from Madison was one of the best saves he's seen in in, in a very long time. And um, aren't you worried if if um, your keeper doesn't have um, a, a good game or half half a good a game as he did, that you guys might concede against? When two weeks, let's just say in two weeks, you guys got Liverpool. Or three, you know, including the international break. Or whatever it may be, yeah. Um, who, who's your next game? Is your next game Watford? Uh, it's Watford. Yeah. Watford. Look, Joshua King's going to come show up there. So, you know, your, uh, Claudio Ronieri. Are, are you concerned at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you con- concerned that at like no. at all with that? What we've seen against Leicester, that another another team with, you know, that can finish a little bit. Maybe like your Cristiano Ronaldo's mm-hmm. most Salas rock up. It might be, it might be a different, different type of mm-hmm. game there. Well, look, we had played finish there. 
I had Vardy, who scored, what, seven goals this season, is it, in the Premier League? So we had players that could finish. Now, I know that they had chances, but chances directly in front of goal, open chances are one thing. Chances on tight angle is another. So when I see some of their chances, chances, Lookman, Barnes, that's not an easy chance to finish, especially when you've got decent defenders putting pressure on you. Now, yeah, you're right. Players like Salah, players like Cristiano Ronaldo, they're going to come to the, they're going to come up and they're going to try and put that away and they could probably they probably would, but the difference that I see here from Arsenal is that our defenders are making it harder for the goal scorer. They're giving them only tight angles to score from, and we did have players there that could score. We did have a Vardy. We did have a Tielemans. and Tielemans, like you said, was having a good game. If you had another striker up front, maybe like a Vardy, it could have been a different. It could have been like yeah. a Ronaldo up there. It could have been a different game, but in this game, it wasn't. Um, do you, you think, do, you think you, do you think you just caught Leicester at a good time, Steve? No, no, no. I caught Leicester the way Leicester should have been caught. I caught <laughs> Leicester with Brendan Rodgers playing the same formation that he played you guys in, changed Madison up thinking Madison's going to do something. I caught a cocky Brendan Rodgers thinking he's going to pull it off on us. And if he was smart, he should have played a back four. And if anyone had watched his bloody team, if he had known his team, he'd know Sionce's week on the left and he didn't pull that up. He thought, oh, I'll get Arsenal. Sorry, dude. No one was, anyone who was blind could see Sionsu was a liability in a back three, and that's why he changed it up in the second half. Yeah, to well, save I, by Ramsey. I think Arsenal, Arsenal had a great game, to be honest with you. It's a, it's a great result. I don't think anything should be taken away from them at all. Um, like, we only lost to Leicester. Defensively, like, yeah, midfield ago, was right? shot. Got four goals against them. Yeah, and, and it, was, it was very comfortable. Like, like the first half, at least, was all, almost all Arsenal comfortably. Um, and the new players were looking pretty good too. They looked like they had a nice rhythm, nice intensity as well, which uh, Arsenal lately have been showing. Actually, they're 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 on a bit of a rise. But yeah, like I mean, when they do come up against the Liverpools and that, it's going to be I yeah. think uh, back to back to what we expect be, from Arsenal. That's not well, fans. Of it's course. going to be hard. It, yeah, it's going to be hard. And, and I that, don't yeah. expect us to capitulate, but it'll be hard. But, and it'll that's the thing. We said hard. it. We said it against Spurs. Yeah. You guys came out of the out of the blocks firing against Spurs. You got the free goal. So once they got their goal, the game was it was still a it was still a stretch for Spurs to come back into mm. it. Where in this game, mm. right in this game, you guys you guys, in terms of you guys in possession and playing well, after your two goals, you kind of sat back and it, it did at mm. times it didn't even it look did. like it didn't even look like you were interested in going forward. Maybe a little bit shaky um, because obviously Leicester were coming out, but. Like I said, if they got a if they got a goal, that would have been that would have been an interesting maybe second half mm. if they got one in the first. Oh yeah. Then around the seventieth minute, around the seventieth minute, you guys had a good spell, where you guys should have got a goal. A bomb Yang, uh, I think Saka had a chance there. Should have got a goal. But Steve and uh, KG jump in, or the rest of the boys jump in. Um, yeah. There was a challenge at halfway, right? But before we seen mm. that challenge on halfway from from Stones, there was. Um, a challenge in the box where uh, Stones went up, to be honest, nowhere near the ball and, and catches your keeper there. Should that be, should that there be a yellow card in itself? And then the second one, which you got the yellow at halfway for taking down the player, I don't think it's a red because it's w- way too far from goal. But isn't, yep. the, do you guys think that that should have been that's the second yellow? 100%. Yeah. Was this the one when he left his uh, leg out? Yeah, he was nowhere near the ball. He was, he comes yeah, in. No, he's not going up for a header. He's day, it's yeah? his knee. It's his knee that gets right into his chest or something. And it's like, bro, he's that's a every day of the week. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, 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 I look, I'm just, I don't know. I'm old school. So when I see a little something like, that, I think, yeah, you got to deal with that. <laughs> Steve's, yeah, Steve's like no, Roy Keane well, on I'm Harland. Still, I'm still bit, Roy yeah, Keane yeah, on I'm Harland, bro. Just play on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going, bro. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought I thought it was a bit dirty, to be honest. Um, oh, reminds man. me, reminds me of. I, I get what you're saying. Like you know, probably 10, 15 years ago, you'd see that in every game. But now that they, now the game is so clean. There's so many cameras. Everyone's watching. Mm. And I just think, yeah, like I look. I, I had a bias. Um, I was actually chasing the yellow cards. But when I seen it, I was like, he hit the keeper. Like keepers are protected species. You know that six yard box. Um, you can't really touch him. So I, I thought, yeah, I thought he should have been booked. And the second, the second one, um, yeah, I mean, he should have been gone, gone earlier. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah, again. interesting one. But look, do, 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 do you know what I think? Yeah, I think the referee needs to show common sense. Um, and I think um, you know we're all talking about it now and stuff. Um, ugh, the rules are the rules, but 
you know, you know, if you look at some of the the files and the the bookings and the ones that have not been given the whole weekend, there's no consistency with the referees. You know, um, yeah, and, and 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 I think that's the most frustrating thing. Not only as a fan, but probably as a player. You know, um, you know, even like yesterday's games, um, the Leeds Norwich game was was just a physical battle, and then you think, how can one referee allow certain tackles to go, and then the others like trigger happy with the cards and stuff? So mm. it's 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 just consistency, and it's annoying for us because. You know, you know the old saying goes, "Oh, it will balance out at the end of the season," but we shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm trying, what I'm trying to because say? Because last yeah, season, yeah. there was a <laughs> last season. I think um, I know it's a bit more consistent now with VAR. I think we ha- there hasn't really been a, a, a lot more oh, than yeah. last season. Uh, no, no, a lot more than last season. Last I season was they, they fixed it up with the lines and all that. But like uh, even Damo, do you remember last last year uh, against Everton? And Henderson, Jordan Henderson scores the scores the winner, and it was given offside. And yeah. in what world is that offside? Like yeah. you're saying that might even itself out at, at the end of the season, but it doesn't always, bro. It does. It, no. it, it's not. It's not always the case. But um, yeah, yeah. Some some shocking referees and Bob's. I think he said this on another stream before, and uh, and this is why the English refs uh, are not are not always in the World Cups. Or maybe one out of the Thanks. yeah, like you got the best league in the world and you got horrible refereeing, and you've seen in the Euros this season how um, the referees are so consistent and don't take no shit. They call it as they say it. They don't need half them refs in the Euros didn't even need the VAR for a second opinion. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they seen it there, you know what I mean? But um, look, and the referee. yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. it, that's it. Um, but yeah, look, Steve, great result for Arsenal. You, you guys were like, you know, in the nosebleeds. You know, after your game, mate, you were fourth, sitting third, you know, somewhere somewhere there, thereabouts. I thought, yeah. they, I thought they were in the league. Social media was going off. I was like, what's going on? Is it me? Yeah, relax. Oh, Arsenal, relax. Arsenal oh. won the league. Steve, the we, <laughs> Steve we, got the bus we, ready, bro. We, got the bus ready. Uh, <laughs> third, uh, The fourth the, place the parade. The fourth place oh, parade. Oh, oh, oh. Arsene Wenger days are back. Here we go. Guys, <laughs> Start the car off. off. You know the what? carby. This Warm up the carby, Steve. No, no, relax now. Listen to this. What I get the shits with is every pundit out there, right? Every pundit out there is sitting there talking about Leicester and in form and Madison's in form. And I'm sitting there going, the hell are you guys looking at? And what am I looking at? Am I on some sort of drug? And and it shits me because they write off a team and they don't look, <laughs> yeah, at, I don't they know, don't look at it clearly. And I just gave you, you know, you guys are going to be up for a, you guys are going to get it. And so when we went up, for me, it was like, you know what? Stuff the lot of you. Because you guys are biased. You can't tell me you can't see it. If you can't see it, then go out there and have a good look. Because if someone like me in Australia, with fuck all happening up here, can see that, <laughs> you can't tell me no one else. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's from the sticks, mate, out here. Yeah, but Steve, yeah, I don't know. You're, you're probably on something. You I don't fucking know where I'm from, mate. I'll, <laughs> over there. I'll show you where I'm from, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget me, sweetheart. You remember me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve is on, definitely on something. Mate. Don't worry about that. Steve, Steve is definitely on. Oh, Steve, you're definitely on something, bro. You're saying something about best defense in the league or up there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit. Yeah, I think uh, you're a little bit. Do, you know, do you know what, Steve? You said this. Look, you, you did say, look. I, I remember when we initially met. He said, look. You know, you weren't really too harsh on Arteta. I remember. He said, look. You know, you've got new players. Players were coming back for fit, and you knew yourself. If you got your d- defense sorted. You knew going forward wouldn't really be a problem. It's just getting the players on the pitch, and you've managed to find a solution now. And look, you're having, you're enjoying yourselves. And this is the funny thing about the Premiership: one week you look like a dud, the other week you look perfect. Two, 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 three games. Listen, you're up the table. Yeah. You know, like so. Listen, enjoy it because you, we know with a club like Arsenal, you can swiftly be reminded. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, so listen, Here we go. listen, that's all I'm saying. But no, no, good, mm. good for you guys. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with the whole pundit thing, yeah, let's not, they, they still praise Bielsa but, and he's about to get relegated. So I don't, I don't, they, they still <laughs> leads one win all season, but you know what? It's attractive football for the neutral. It's fantastic. Yes, go sit on that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Yeah, talking yeah. about yeah. we're talking about how the Premier League changes every week. One one week you're you're fantastic, you know they got five on you. The next week you're a dud, yeah, struggling against uh, yeah, Harry you, Potter, yeah, <laughs> against yeah. Lingardium Leviosa, Expelliarmus. Everything's going on there, yeah, because who scored for who scored for Brighton was it? Just you know got got his wand out and did these ones, 
And you know, Shaka, he's lopping goals. Didn't see that one coming. But Liverpool, Liverpool to <laughs> Brighton to Damo. What's going on, man? What's going on? Because last week you were giving it, you were giving it the big end. Watching the pod, Butcher's back. Butcher is back from the dead. He was silenced <laughs> last week. Halloween's over now. Yeah, I'm back. I thought he was asleep. Halloween's over. But um, you think we lost? Huh? You think we lost the game? It's a loss, bro. It's a loss. You you, you lost from two, two, two nil up. Explain yourself. Best oh, manager in the world. Best over for you. That's it. Best it's best centre back. Best centre back. Best left and right backs in the league. Best front three, Mo Salah, best player in the world. Where was Mo Salah? Couldn't break the record. He couldn't break the record. 11 goals in 11 games. Was Mo Salah playing? Was Mo Salah playing? Serious question, serious question. Was he playing? Was Mane playing? Is it African Cup of Nations? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What was it? The best African player in the league, whatever. What were they talking about, Bocce? Yeah, some stats. Some stats. I don't know, bro. I believe this guy's actually chatting right now. Can you Listen, believe this guy's chatting shit? Black can you believe it? They'll can do you, anything you, to you, put Star on the, on the face of the league. This guy must be on some seriously good drugs over there. Like, he must be. Whatever you're on, man, send some over to Australia. I need it. Listen, import, <laughs> export. I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> in the private chat. Yeah, in the private chat. Get in the private chat. But Damo. No, no, let Damo explain himself. Let Damo explain himself because two nil up. They could have got a three. I thought they were versing Man United Bursting. again for a second. Bursting. I thought they were versing Man United for a second. Then Mane getting a third. Then it was ruled offside. And he had the cheek to celebrate, even though he knew he handballed it or he touched his arm. But Damo, the floor is yours. You want me to switch it to the one camera? You know, oh, you're, you're good. Oh, you're good. Because <laughs> I know Klopp had the gun at you the last one. And he was telling you what to say. But now this time around, let's go. Oh, man. Um... <laughs> yeah, crickets in the background. To say really, bro. Like at the end of the day, we took a point away from uh, informed Brighton team. You didn't take. They took a point away from uh, you, yeah. bro. You turn it up. Don't forget at home, Anfield, <laughs> Anfield. Yeah, I thought you meant to have this <laughs> mad atmosphere, <laughs> mad bro. Let's, 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 let's not talk about being at home because the old Trafford is still silent. The old hey, you can't talk Definitely about Old Trafford, bro. You guys have your little three-minute fucking yeah. concert at the start of your at the start with your flags and wave. Once <laughs> once your concert finishes, f- the whistle goes, and go. there you go, bro. It's a library, bro. And that's why everyone comes to Anfield and sings, <laughs> "Where's your famous? <laughs> Where's your famous atmosphere?" That's what, that's, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. That's a copy and paste I think from I think he's more happier with that one from Twitter. Sure Bob's than else that that this is a couple of other points. Bob's always retweets that one. Yeah. Nothing else to retweet. It's, it's over. It's over. Which is going considering last yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit much. What are we talking about? See, what are we talking about last week, bro? What are we talking about last week? This is this week now. We, we need to have some context. We need to have some context in this conversation. Damo, a serious question, though. Damo, can I ask a serious question, though? Um, you're at home to um, Brighton. <laughs> this is the Seaside Bulls. The Magpies. No, they were Seagulls. The Seagulls. selling sweets and candy. Apple on a rock, apple on a stick, yeah. And to Halloween, lose, huh? to lose such. We call it. To- um, what do we call it? Toffee lead. apple. <laughs> Is that what we call it? Yeah? Toffee apple. Yeah, yeah. Toffee. Oh, apple. Hey. yeah to lose, to lose such a lead, yeah. In the manner you did, all jokes aside, that is worrying. Especially they drew, but they drew. They didn't lose. Give them credit. They, they, they lost the lead. They, they lost the lead. They lost the lead. Let, let, well, let the man speak. He <laughs> can't bro. defend himself. <laughs> no, boys, boys, send, send a bit more. Send a bit more because I've backed myself number one defender on the panel. If you whip some crosses in, maybe. No, yeah, tell Trent. Tell Trent to whip bro. some. You lot can't defend crosses, apparently. So, Damon, what's going on? <clears throat> you know what? Send me a couple questions, bro. Ask me a question and I'll defend. I'll start defending. Go on. Go. Uh, where's a Klopp's Go. plan B? Because two nil up, do you kill the game off with your best with your best forwards in the league, or do you uh, do you put in do you put in another midfielder and close shop? I know you Liverpool don't do that, and it's not in the DNA. Okay, so it's not in the DNA. Question. Yeah, it came up again answer. last week. So it's, it's uh, if I can see it, how come Klopp can't? Plenty of times before, because if you think after twenty four minutes being up two nil, we're going to start subbing players off to bring on defenders, you've never watched football before in your life. Mm. Next question, please. Next question. Yeah, keep going. Uh, yeah, keep going. Wait, keep wait, wait. going. That's it. That's the answer. Yeah, but that's the answer. Yeah, okay. So yeah, why but did you draw? Why did you draw? Why did we draw? We drew because of poor defending. And Konate is number one on my hit list. If we want to be very critical, why did you buy him then? <laughs> why did we buy him? Because we had Jesus Christ, injured, bro. and we needed depth. 
So why did he play? Next, why did he play? Where's Matip? Because he had a clean sheet last week against United and man marked Rashford out of the game. Ma- Rashford so man marked boys, himself out of the game. Don't worry, we, so everyone, okay. you next, play. Next. So why did the best manager in the world see that he was having a rubbish game and take him off? Okay, I'm gonna Kinda. put my I'm gonna put my Superman cape on. <laughs> it was his second goal. To the rescue, to the rescue. Let's go, Kev. <laughs> Please, Kev, you gotta say something, bro. Boys, You're the other half of this United fan base. Ask me another one. Yeah. Yeah. See, no, 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 no. Make sure right you get it now. Give it to Kev. Guys that I got a hard on for this black. Can we just take it easy? You know what I mean? He needs to be. Give it to Kev. Like, Kev, Kev, say what you're gonna say. Kev, Kev, say what you're gonna say. I'm just gonna say. Gonna say if you okay, let's let's put it in a bit of context. Take away the whole Man United Liverpool thing, right? You're a manager of one of the informed teams in the competition, undefeated in the competition. You're winning 2-1. It's still the 65th two minute. Nil. Even if you... It, well, no, 2-1 two, two at 65th minute. It, it was 2-1 at halftime. If, you're, if, if I'm Klopp and I've got those players out on the pitch, I'm, I'm not changing anything if I'm 2-1 up. And even if I'm 2-all, I'm not... I'm, you know what? It, it, oh, very hard, very hard to look at that team and go, this team is not going to get me a result. <clears throat> so, so with that much time left on the clock and, and, the, and the changes that he ended up making, like, you know, Jota coming in 78th minute or whatever, maybe Jota could have come in a bit earlier. But come on, like, you, you saw what they did to United the week before. So why are, you, why are we all of a sudden questioning Klopp uh, and, and we're thinking about a plan B. Like, you've got to give the man some respect. He knows what he's doing. If okay, because that happened against Brentford. Form. It happened against Brentford. Last season, yeah, it happened all season. But no, no, la, bro, it doesn't undefeated. matter, bro. They're sitting they undefeated. Annihilated us last week. Yeah, but we know oh, our, so we know our problems already, bro. We know our problems already. We can see here. Okay, uh, but this, I don't think this is a problem, dude. If you're still undefeated and you're picking up wins and you've... And yeah, but I never put Arsenal, though, that are shameless. Oh, we didn't get beat. Come on. You're winning 2-0, mate. You know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Uh, I don't, I don't think they're uh, supposed to be thrilled, but they're not. They shouldn't be devastated. Fuck. Yeah. I, I, no, I don't no, think no, it's no, it's this is like a Brian Day. Like, so I'm this sitting there thinking myself, it's like the league is over. No, I love this game. The league is the Champions done, League right. in the toilet. Right. You know. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know, do you know why I think well, it's a worry? Man, all the do you know spin on this one. The weird reason I think it's a worry, right, is this: is because because my DMs were crazy last week. Okay. We had said this that the, we said when Man United lost um, to Leicester, we were like, "League's over, we can't compete." It's top four now, yeah. But the race for the league title, City dropped points, Liverpool dropped points, Chelsea when Man United win. You know, like going in towards Christmas, you you need to have a steady run. And for you guys, you know, you're going to lose a few of your players, and it's like you're, you're conceding goals now. Normally, it used to be the case, oh, we'll concede goals, but we'll score more. It didn't look like that. And now I think the little dip um, is going to come now for you guys. And I think it's coming at the wrong time. Can, and I, just, can I just, before Damon answers, right? Out. Yeah, just, just before Damon answers that, right? But just to put in context <laughs> in terms of the... Uh, Damon, I'll let you ca- get a few moments to capture your thoughts. But but it's just, uh, all I want to say is as, a, as any manager, after nine or ten rounds, if you're, if you're riding, get, if you're riding off seasons... You're in you're in a lot worse place than than everyone thinks because I had the same argument last last week after our loss and everyone came at me. I went on social media, they came at me, everyone came at me. Liverpool fans, Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans, mm. and the one thing was somebody asked me, "Hey, can Man United still win the title?" Right, and and my answer was, as long as there's a mathematical chance, I will believe we can win the title. Why? Because if tomorrow they replace Oli with a a world-class manager, and we go on a run similar to what Chelsea did um, last year, then why couldn't we gain momentum and, and pick up results? The, so, so for me, I never lose hope in terms... Do I think we're going to win it? I don't think so because of form and, and whatever whatever else you want to put it down to. I don't think we can, but I still believe that you know it's not too late for us to make a... a a bid for the title, similar to your point, you know, teams will drop points and others will pick up points. But I don't think Liverpool are in a position where it's they're in dire straits. We, looking forward, I know they're going to lose some players for African uh, Cup of Nations, but I, I, I think they've already planned for that. I, I think there's, there's, you know, Klopp's not silly. He knows what he's going to have to do during that period. Well, Ox, he, and Ox comes something in. will come of it. 
whoever it is, like, I'm not going to go and talk on behalf of Liverpool. I don't know their squad as, as well as Damo or some of you guys do. But I, but he's also not stupid. He's, he's a world-class manager and he'll know what he's going to do at that point. Well, then how come, how come when uh, Naby Keita got injured last week, when poor Pogba broke his leg, he started him again? 19 minutes in, what happened? They had to yeah, make a sub. But, but, but when you play, but, but when you, but when it's when it's Man United playing a player injured, they get onto us. Now talk to me about your manager now. But, hang, but, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're but the one who gets onto them. Though. You're yeah, the one getting onto them. Do, 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 do you know, do you know what my point is? Yeah, 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 but, but, but I'm with you, right? Because when Oli mocks up, right, and blah, 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 they're like, oh, you're mad, blah, blah. PE well, teacher. Yeah. Well, we lost that yeah. game. They didn't lose. They drew. No, yeah, but, no but listen, you lost a two nil deficit man. at home. Remember, I don't care. If you didn't lose. One second. Yeah, when they win the next two games, it, no one's going to remember a draw. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not worried about the next two games. The next two games, he can come on. He can come on and talk about the next two games in the next couple of weeks. But I'm talking about in this game individually because when when other, I'm bro. It's not. I'm not talking. Not not necessarily talking to Damien. I'm not because he, he I, I say he's calm. He he gave me a, he gave me an easy time. But he's the he's the Liverpool correspondent. They drew, they drew against Brighton, and Brighton is a team that can get a draw or get a win against yeah, anyone, against anyone anyway, on their good day, right? They didn't lose the game. They drew a game. They bro, don't points, don't tell right? me they they, they didn't points. lose the game, bro. They were two nil, if they were two nil down, if they were two nil down, and then they came back okay, to two yep, all. Yep, yep. Yes, you gained the point. Yep. But look at the yep. things like things like they oh, why did why did why did, why did your manager play Maguire injured? I see Luke Shaw's injured and he's playing him. Well, your 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 manager did the same thing this week. But to Back Damon's him. point, we we the, we're the critics. Uh, we're we're criticizing our own team. You're he's not criticizing us. Yeah. I'm not I putting it on Klopp for playing Keita. If Keita says he's fit and Klopp reckons he's the best man for the job, you fucking play him. That's what I think. If he comes off injured, he comes off injured. But you guys have a sook every week because half your players are injured for a month. Yeah, of course and we sook every week. And draw is bigger than your 3-0 win against Spurs. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Look, end of the, end of the, end of the day, they... You drop, look, they drop two points and you don't have to beat every single team in the league. You do, though, because Chelsea's yeah. running away with it. Yeah, Chelsea's Chelsea, running away with it. Days, mate. This points. isn't week 33. You know what yeah, I mean? but it doesn't matter, bro. But but when I when we 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 drew, we drew, bro. No, no, because no, you know what, bro. You can't you can't say that. You can't say that, bro. Hey, I got I've got the power of the mute button. Who wants to taste that? Who wants to taste that mute button? Bro, game week two, we drew to Southampton, and oh yeah, these games are gonna come back to haunt ya. Week two. So if people can yeah, tell me that in week two, yeah, I, I can tell it in week I, ten. I, I, I was not convinced. I said they could have dropped points to Southampton. They could have. And if it wasn't for that red card, okay, it would have been a 1 1, right? And it would have dropped points. But they didn't. They got lucky on that. Now, these guys have dropped points. And to be perfectly honest, I'm more convinced by Liverpool's style of football than Chelsea's. But that's just me. Now, I could be wrong. I might not be right. But you don't have to win every single game in the league to win the league. You just need to make sure you get something from every game. And they got something. They fucked up. Win they your home games and at least draw your away games. Who where they play? <laughs> Look, end of the day, if they go on a run now for six, seven games and oh, keep winning shit. it, are they going to remember this game? If Chelsea drop points, if they drop points, bro, it's it's not just this game as well, though. Yeah. So when I say where's Klopp's plan B, when I'm asking where's the plan B, what, and I'm asking. Uh, and there I, should be a plan B. You're right on that. I, but I agree because with you, because it, it, it happened. It's, a, it's, it's, but it's happened be. because there it's not the it's not the first time it's happened with Liverpool, yeah. But because they're up there, they're about because they're the media's media's poster boy. Balance, everyone everyone yes. puts that underneath they the carpet are because undefeated. Th it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter if they're undefeated at the moment. It doesn't matter. All right, okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. The style of football they're playing, they have they do not have an L. Yeah, but bro, these bro, how come? They, they lost the league to they, 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 they lost the league by one point, yeah. Why? Because Klopp didn't have a plan B in the majority of them games when he was playing Man United and we had so, we had half the team fucking injured. Then we made all three subs in the first half. He didn't change it up in the second and still got a nil or draw. But when he could have, we were there for the taking. You win that game, you win the league. Yeah. The okay, next season. Are we, are we seriously saying the, the one no, no. manager that's probably picked up the most points in the last two and a half seasons? Yes. Where's his plan B? Yes, him. I am questioning him. Yeah. I but am he questioning need him. Need a plan B, dude. Well, obviously he does, bro. And this is what I'm telling you. And this is no, 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 bro. This is what I'm. This is what I'm telling you, bro. Because the fact that he's no. This is what I'm saying. Um, and it, this is not I'm, not, I'm not taking a dig. I'm just saying, if you guys want to go on to win the league. You've got the fucking shovel out, bro. Keep digging. I swear to God, bro. Shovel. I've got the, shovel. I've got the bobcat. I've got the bobcat. <laughs> He's on the bobcat, bro. No, no. Because, 
the thing is, yeah, the, the thing is, it, it's it just it's just funny how how other teams, Arsenal or Man United, we we do we, we drop points here and there to like Arsenal lost to Brentford, it was end of the world. Arsenal was getting relegated. We drop a few points, we get pumped a few times, Ooh, and it's end of the world. But for Liverpool, it's kind of like all nice and smooth. It's a smooth run. You can tell me, you can tell me that you're undefeated, right? You can tell me you're undefeated, but. It, it's I I can see it I can see it that so many times well, yeah, you, you've had club, these right? games. Get rid of Klopp. No 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 Sack you don't Klopp. get you know you don't, you don't get rid of Klopp Sack, you don't get rid of Klopp no. because when exactly who was who was his assistant who was his assistant when you guys won the Champions League that Bosnian he was I think it was he might have been Bosnian he was the mastermind he was the mastermind <laughs> I'm not saying Klopp is is <laughs> is a fraud but <laughs> do you know what I'm saying he was the mastermind behind everything that was happening All at the that shots club. And eating with one hand. So, yeah. so um, <laughs> that's, that's so right. That's right. Demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? Mean, but I'm trying to ask you here. Okay. Oh, there's a question in this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a question in here. <laughs> I know Bot is just asking the question, but um. Yeah, no, for me, do you know what? For me, yeah, old jokes aside, okay, I've watched the game in Spain. <laughs> yeah, get yourself a super. Why? Yeah. Why? Okay, we yeah. saw we we saw the resurgence of Brighton coming into the game, okay, and you know, listen, I go at Oli about in-game management. I go about Oli and his decisions and stuff. You know, if you watch the game, you can see what was happening in that game. Now, why didn't he combat that? As in with his substitutions or tactics? Yeah. Like, or why did he not just say, look, you know, hold on to the ball more? Or, you know, like, you know, I think Kev far, answered like, you know, that, like... yeah. Pardon? I reckon Kev answered that before. We were... No, no, no. I know he did, but I want to hear it from him, Damo, because, because, um, Damo, you know, we held smoke of you guys. He's got his know, minions right? coming out to answer the questions. So, <laughs> so I, I'm just saying, like, you know, we were saying off air, like, He's the best man. Well, you were saying he was the best man and stuff. So I'm like, okay, like, you're at home. And we all know to win the league or a championship, whatever, you need to win in your home games and the more your home games. And I thought that was a banker for you guys. I think three points is three points I'm away, so it's irrelevant. Is it you got one. You got one. Yeah, it is. It is. Because if you get the... At the end of the day, if you get the points, you get the points, right? So mm. we had a draw okay. here. If you want to talk about that, we shared the points with Chelsea at home also. And then yeah, also, to be fair, you should have beat ten men. <laughs> but you want you want no to know plan B and stuff, right? You, you know the plan B. They can't. He's got no plan B. Can we play him oh, every oh, week? Klopp's oh, got oh, no oh, plan B. If you're happy to play us, if you're happy to play us every week, I'm sure you'll ask him a question. Hey, I'm Brentford and Brentford and what do you call it? Right? If you guys can say we've got no plan B, but plan A has been working, and if you're undefeated in the English Premier League with one plan, I think it's doing okay. Yes, we're not top of the league. I understand that, and I personally believe that dropping points any game home and away can cost you the league. I think a draw here and there, bro. You were you in this league. You were undefeated till January last year. You got Pam six at home in a row, so. Doesn't make a big difference at the moment, bro. With no plan B, and it wasn't even your defenders. Oh, we got defensive issues, the injuries, but it was your front three that was the problem, yeah? They're punching on with each other on the field. But look, congratulations to Liverpool. Big, massive, <laughs> massive one point, you know, at the at Juan Field there. Uh, great result for Liverpool. They're going to go on to win the league now. You know, you, you know, you stitched up, boys. Stitched you know, up. You know what's going to happen. Fant look, that's fantastic. Right, that's right, fantastic. Wait till the talking. I'm then I let, let the team do the talking because so obviously some people can't, you know. It's one of them. It's one of them, you know. Let your team do the talking. I will say in Jan. Let me tell you one thing. United TV, bro. Many TV, thanks for having me. You know, you know, you know, hey, you know hey, what hey we haven't, we're half an hour in, haven't spoken about United. So what, I don't know what United TV you're talking about. Bombard questions and never give you a chance to answer them. And that's what we do here, okay? So you keep talking, Borchi, and keep making it out like you're trying to be civil. And you sit there and make it out like you can actually answer the questions because that's exactly what's happening here. He, 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 he got the floor, bro. The floor, the floor is right, his, bro. Shafted. The floor is his. Mm. The floor is his. And all I'm getting is got a uh, plan. Plan A is working. And, that, and that's on a draw. Uh, so do you want to talk about the game now, or are we going to talk about other irrelevant facts? Yeah, let's go. Let's talk about the game. Yeah, the fact is, are we talking about the game? Let's talk about. Talked about the Brighton game. You drop points at home, and you call yourself title contender. Like Jordan Hendo Nino, hey, at least, at least, at least, the, your, at least your Brazilian squad, yeah. At least, at least. You guys know me, man. You boys know me personally. That's not me. 
the team did the talking last week. I don't need to come on and try and put you on show. You, you right? needed to. That's just not me. Because my inbox yeah, was going, you, was you going you nuts. Need, you guys can still win it. I don't need to. <laughs> your, your team did the talking on the weekend as well, mate. You can't win every single game. You just got to... The as manager's a fraud. He's not good enough. <laughs> Oh, Brian, Nate, Nate keep just, your mouth Nate shut. Yeah. Brian. Oh, shit. <laughs> so what other games happened this week? We what other games happened this week? I know, did anyone else oh, play football, football this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, did we not Did we not score three goals and get three points? I, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, 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 it's the other guy. We're going to go to the other fraud. Pep Fraudiola. You know, Pep Fraudiola at home. At home, he lost. No plan B, C, D, E, F, G. What's going on, Pep? Another 200 mil, again, another 200 yeah, mil on defenders enough. in Jan. You know, there's no city supporters in the chat, but like, what do you, what do you, what do you boys that reckon? That, 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 red, that wasn't a red card, but right? That, was, straight oh, red. No, do you know who should have got a red? Oh, a red Diaz should have yeah, got a red yeah, card as well. Diaz should have got a red card for just, for being there, for being involved. Who was? Mares, was he on the field? I don't know, but we got him this week. So the more red cards, you know. Uh, the better, but look, that boys, look. Is. Now we've settled down a little bit, yeah, Damo. Settle yourself, mate. Calm down. Yeah? You need to c learn to calm down a little bit. Yeah. How many energizer batteries? Did you I'm, just only, I'm only. I'm <laughs> only. <laughs> hey, I've got this pre-workout that's uh, kind of uh, discontinued now. Damo, you're so hyper. Just relax. Relax, Damo, bro. Relax, it's relax. Is the fridge on? <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry Maguire. <laughs> yeah, he's here. He's here. <laughs> Uh, but look, boys, Manchester City, title contenders, they reckon. Um, they lost at home. That's another lot. Can I just say, I called the Crystal Palace win. Do you know what, you though? Know you guys won't believe me. Do you know what, Kev? I, I actually had, I actually, yeah. it's the, it is, yeah, it is, it is, it is, yeah, yeah. Like Brighton Bogey to Liverpool. Team and, Bogey team and Palace have only lost two matches in the league. They've only lost to Chelsea and Liverpool. They haven't, they, they've, they've held matches. And they should have been and, Arsenal and as well. Felt like all over Arsenal. And I just felt like they were a team. Oh, no, hang on. They had the win in the, up until the last minute, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 90th minute. Arteta's at the wheel. But, but Palace, man, they're not, they're not going to go down. Did we soft. get a point? You got a point. At home. You're like this guy over there. Where is he over there somewhere in the back corner? At <laughs> point at home. To me about points and he lost, he lost. He lost to Leicester. We, lo we lost everyone. What was the, what, what we lost everyone. That, it was 2 0 against Leicester. Yeah, we lost. Oh, the, yeah, and we did. did. They drop two nil no, no, we wasn't. No, nah, sorry, mate. Wrong yeah, game. We know we've got. Listen, it, our our just yeah, but we got, we got the PE teacher. The mountain, bro. We got it's the right. PE teacher. Right. Winning the game against Leicester. We won't. Won. Yeah, 1 0. Okay. Not 2 0. 1 0. And then, and then okay, actually, that, the ball over the top, Rashford, that's right. Yeah, they already had a head of Yeah, okay. So, and we and our manager's not. Uh, Jürgen Klopp, the best manager in the world, with the best front three in the world, left no, and right backs and a back goalkeeper, yeah, best goalkeeper. No, Anyways, my, Manchester my, my, City, my, yeah, I'm man. Trying to get, uh, we're trying to hire Bergen Klopp right now, but we're fucking having a hard time. <laughs> you're, you're having a hard time <laughs> doing a lot of things there, but yeah, look, Manchester City. No, we're getting three points, but you know, three points aren't a problem. You know, it's not right now. It's not. It's not too hard for us. Yeah, now, okay. Right. Then Watford rocks up. Okay. But um. Anyways, yeah, wrong, Boy, wrong. boys, Manchester City. Good luck against City. We don't need luck against City. It's beating City is normal. You need a prayer. Uh, do me a favor, Damo. Get me that priest on the line. They're going to need someone to be praying for them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, look, City boys. <laughs> where do we go from here? Where do we go, bro? Where, where do we go? X Men United, Wonder Kid, Wilfred Zaha <laughs> scores a goal. Fucking <laughs> nice. Hey, Arsenal should have fucking bought him, eh? I think with Man City, I think. Kev's like, what's this guy? What's <laughs> Shameless, yeah. Ron elbows, punches, everything they got to go. I don't care what he, the hell he gets it. He'll get a goal. That guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah listen, he the one. He got under this. Hey, but hey, but hey, boys. Yeah. We mm. we've City the last couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, Burnley, Burnley. I think it was only the one nil. Then they lo they got knocked out of the cup to West Ham on, on pens. Okay, I know they had the, 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 there was a lot of changes, especially their goalkeeper. But I think they had the majority of their, their better players on during the penalty shootout. I don't know when the changes came in. But um, oh, but Man City, they lost. There's another one, another game they've lost now. And let's just say, yeah, I know United's a, yeah, United as a club is a fraud in, in itself. But if we beat City, we're level on points with them. So are we, <laughs> are we gonna be title contenders again? <laughs> if City are the favorites? <laughs> but, and, and that's, that's, a, that's so crazy to think that United win this week Level on points really? with City. How? It's a reality, bro. Yeah, yeah, but it's no, Dude, yeah, but if, the if best it's, league in the world, bro. A, the best league in the you world. Got, you guys have got some deaths too, so you never know. 
Best league in the world, man. Been calling it since everyone was, you know, giving shit to Ronaldo and Messi and this whole, you know, everyone. The marketing players and all that. Yeah, yeah, I know them. Yeah, the, well, not, I not forgot that, to make that yeah. video demo. Yeah, <laughs> but, I forgot to I forgot but, to clip that one up you, again after this week's uh, goal. Your West Ham's, your Brighton's, your Brentford's. You know, they they're gonna start picking up points along the way, and it's gonna be a tough 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 uh campaign and this is why as a united fan i was worried in the beginning when we were dropping points because we had a harder run coming so that's where i was a little bit concerned but in regards to city look city last year they, they started poorly man they end up winning the league mm. from from december mm. or january onwards they they ran away with it so give them some time if they bring in a striker if they, if they actually bring in a striker in january that they're going to be even more dangerous than what they are. And sure, we can be pick up three points on the weekend. Hopefully, we're doing the derby. Like, I want the boys to fire up. Um, but City is not going to be a joke, man. Like, Guardiola, he he goes with, uh, you know, he as seasons go on, he develops as well. So, something is coming. I wouldn't, I wouldn't discount them, but it was, it was yep. a poor, do you, do you, poor performance as yeah. a team. On the do weekend. you guys think, though, do you guys think, you know, like every year we say it, oh, we don't say it every year, but last year we, he won it without a striker. Um, before that, before that, um, what do you call it? He, no, there was no Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, he won the league still. Is it, is it, is it this season? Is it where they fall short because they don't got the right tools? Oh man, look, I think that's a bit of a, it's a, it's a tough one, man. Cause he, again, De Bruyne hasn't been playing week in, week out. I, personally, I think Pep hasn't settled on his, his starting eleven. I don't, I don't think he knows what his best eleven are because he's he's mucking around with it a lot week in week out, and there's players that miss out along to, like on the weekend. Um, was it Gundogan didn't play? Um, and uh, like you just every week when you try and pick a team, a lot of us that play fantasy league, like you obviously you go and put your team together. Yeah, and you Pep just see players missing out. Yeah, it's it's Pep Roulette, and I don't think he knows. What is the best 11 for me to get a result week in, week out, considering one doesn't have a striker um, and players, some players aren't informed that he's probably uh, been reliant on in the past. Um, so it, it's a tough one. But I, I credit to Crystal Palace, man, because they went out there, they had a game plan. Um, watch Patrick Vieira's uh, interview after the game. They, they knew what they were going to do. They knew how to execute. They knew they were going to be under pressure, especially after, if they got the first goal. They weathered the storm time after time. Goal disallowed, um, which I thought was touch and go, but still disallowed. Um, but, man, they, they did a job and credit to them. So don't worry about City. Credit to Crystal Palace, yeah. man. They're, they're, you know, they're going to be a side that a lot of teams have to look over their shoulder and go, you know what, it's not an easy three points. And, and you know what, at, at, at Palace, it might be even worse. So, um, yeah, I think just City, I think it was just a bad day, bad day at the office. Is it though? Overall. Is it though? Or do you think there's more more of this to come? Because like if, I said, if you ask if they, me in five weeks. Yeah, but if they, okay, if, if Liverpool, Damo, who you guys got this um, this week? Who do we even have this coming week? Can have oh, a look. Oh, no. oh, I know you got Champions League midweek. But yeah, look at his froze. He's left the stream. What's going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, we West End on Monday. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's that's look, Okay, that's gonna look West that's it's not, it's not a, it's not a it's not a um, not, easy game, but if Liv if Liverpool get the result, right? And then Chelsea got Chelsea, Chelsea have Leicester, so that's not. Chelsea okay. got Burnley. Do they Chelsea got Burnley? Got Burnley. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the yeah. wrong one. I think. All right, so hey, if, watch out, Burnley if, guys. You saw what they done to get they done to Brentford. Mm. Yeah, but if if Liverpool and Chelsea get the win, and and City drop yeah. points again, what? How how is it looking for them? Uh, well, look. Is it gone? Is it gone? Then I know you're saying if they get a striker, yeah. but January is there's a, there's a lot of games in between then and um, now and now. Dude, wait till wait till you see what what um, Arsenal are gonna do because they're gonna they're gonna take points off a lot of teams, man. They're gonna they're gonna start firing up. They're gonna start. It's it's. I, I think it's way too early to tell, man. That right now, based mm. on the form, you can't really do much with it. You've just gotta you've just gotta sit there, wait, and see how it all pans out because. 
Um, look, United, we have not been anywhere near where we need to be. There's still an opportunity for us to, you know, pick up on where we need to be and where where people or where United fans expect us to be. Um, Arsenal, I said it, I think last week or the week before, Steve, to yourself, you know, you're on an upward trend. Um, you know, Liverpool's still up there undefeated. Chelsea's the one where you look and you're like, dude, no Mason Mount, no Lukaku, no Werner. I mean, he's a, he's a striker. He's not been informed. But, um, mm. And there was other players missing, Aspilicueta and whoever. You look at that team and you're like, hey, they went to Newcastle. Um, and it's I know Newcastle's not informed, but there's a bit of a vibe around Newcastle at the moment. You just never know what kind of Newcastle's going to come out. And they did a 3-0 job, Reese James, like, masterclass so Mm -hmm. i think it's too early to tell like if we want to talk about city i'm like if i was if i was a city fan or if i was pep guardiola i wouldn't be worried i don't know about what you boys think damo they're they're probably probably liverpool's title liverpool and city are probably title contenders out of you know if we look at what's happening now (laughs) uh but um i still think like you said man chelsea's at the top right they're they're doing things which we were doing when we won it, right? They're just getting the job done, whether it be late goals or you know one nil, three nils, or whatever it is. They're getting. Is this the a what done. city or Liverpool? Uh, uh, city or Chelsea? Uh, sorry, no, this is Chelsea. Um, so I'm saying that's why they're when you talk about title contenders, you you can't obviously write them off, but they seem to be uh, just getting the job done where we seem to be uh, dropping points, right? Um, and like we said, you know, every point matters, but. I don't think, like us, I don't feel worried or I don't think Liverpool feels worried. I don't think City feels worried because there's still a lot of uh, games to be played and a lot of big teams need to play each other, right? Yeah. So they're the, they're the ones you're really banking on. But um, Yeah, one week, one week, your title, think, one week your title contenders and the next exactly week you're, right. you're out of Europe yeah, altogether. Like, yeah, I, and I, I get what you mean. Like, I get what you mean. But the, the thing that I was saying was... Um, is that with with City because like they didn't look they didn't look great, bro. Even against Burnley when they played last week, it was it was like you got the one nil. I mean, yes, Lethargic. three points. Three points is the main main thing. Yeah, you get your three points, you get the victory because Burnley, bro, they're gonna give you a tough time. We we know what type of team Burnley are. They're gonna give you they're gonna give you a tough time. If if you put eleven players behind the ball, we all know what happens, right? But is it if let's just say they get to January, and then they get their Harry Kane or whoever it might be, whatever, um, is it then going to be too late if they're, I don't know, 12 points behind? Because last last season, everyone's like, yeah, they had a slow start and there were, there were you know, eight points or nine points behind the leaders. But let's not forget, they had like one or two games in hand at that time as well. So you've got to factor that in. Just, just watch Chelsea. I think you, you just watch Chelsea. If Chelsea don't get too far in front, it's anyone's game. Yeah, and well, let's let's let's, let's move on to their game. Like uh, while while we're talking about them, because look, three nil, uh, first half it was nil against Newcastle. Newcastle, look, they they've got their takeover, but um, it's looking like they're going to be the richest club in the championship at the moment. No wins mm-hmm. out of the ten games. That that's a worrying sign. They sacked them. Mat- they sacked uh, Stevie Bruce. Um, so uh, if Liverpool's looking for a manager. <laughs> <laughs> someone's available there <laughs> but um Chelsea bro like no Lukaku the last week uh Timo Werner's and all these guys are you know out with injury last week they, they popped in seven this week another three and uh Reese James you got you last and week two w- that's the thing well, that, yeah. well that's the main thing bro and that's the problem with United yeah with United <laughs> you might win games but you're conceding and you're not going to win no leagues if you don't go that's our second clean sheet against Tottenham, right? And what Tuchel, he comes in last season, sorts out the back line. Um, and even last season, how many clean sheets did they have? Heaps. They rarely yeah, concede. They, like, they conceded, yeah, some, something ridiculous in yeah, the yeah. last 16 games. Or and so, I, don't know how, or I don't know how many they conceded um, this season. Three or four, maybe? Four goals? One pen- If you can get uh, it up Chelsea's there. Chelsea's conceded three. Three. One was a penalty, I think, yeah. from... Salah, Salah's Salah's yeah, goal, yeah. Um, the deflection, the the no no one new against City no, was, and that was the deflection, the big deflection, um, mm, yeah, for yeah, and then I can't remember who the other goal was, Southampton it might be, was it Southampton penalty? Might have been. Yeah, Southampton. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Ward Prowse scored the penalty, and, and look, there you go. So two penalties, 
and and a massive deflection. So <laughs> that's really nothing in open play, really. Yeah, really well, they, play. yeah, yeah, really open play. Uh, all right, the, the, for them, man. yeah, go on. Well, sorry, when you're watching, they're actually dominating games. As in their midfield is literally yeah. dominating every single team. Kovacic is killing it in there. Kante is doing what Kante does. Um, and whoever's playing in their 10 role, whether it be Mason Mount or whoever's been in there, um, is just Ziyech doing played the job it, yes, for them, right? So, they had Ziyech on. He was great. Yeah. So yeah. Like, regardless of... Look, before the season started, everyone was losing their shit over Lukaku, right? Everyone was saying, this guy is going to pump it, kill the league. Werner, you know, he was a bit of a flop, but everyone, you know, he's going to get some more goals. <laughs> he's, but, he's missed some you know, fucking sitters still, you know. I know he has, <laughs> He's still a poor bloke. And when he scores, and when he scores, the VAR gets involved. <laughs> Go on, damn. Yeah, I know. But, man, their back line, like, Reese James is having a great season so far. When he's even been on the pitch, you know, I don't think he started yeah. all the games, right? So they, they he, really doesn't he doesn't start yeah. every week. He doesn't start every week. Yeah. I think Rudy as well, well. he's been very impressive. Um, and Chua was just doing Chua things, like, since he signed for the club. Uh, Marcus Scoring Alonso goals. when he's on, you know, like... They're very impressive at the back, but for me, it's their midfield, which is going to, um, you know, if they go on to, their midfield is going to win them the league. Because they're he's just so he, he's rotating there. them like crazy, man. Like Kante doesn't start every week. Jorginho doesn't start every week. Um, so we didn't see Ziyech and Havertz for a while. Like, yeah. He mm-hmm. just, he's, he's got some, but you know what? Like it's to a point where they're not even complaining about not getting game time. They're that's just trusting the process. Playing, yeah. Exactly They're right. just trusting the process, and man, that's that's dangerous. When when you're an Arsenal, or you're not a Liverpool fan. You sit yeah, there and yeah. you're like, that is that is dangerous, bro. If you've got a well harmonized team that can rotate in for one another week in week out, not complain, get their game time, take their chances, far out, man. That's some some scary stuff. If yeah, they're but the ones, if if, if do they you, get away with it's it. all, but do you see it's scary because um, it's like for like players, they can come in and do and pull a shift. And it doesn't matter if it's this squad or that squad. I can take Ziyech and put him into the apparent starting line and he'll pull a shift. He's not going to be out of place. So, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, well, that's, an play. yeah but that's like, why you – that's yeah. yeah. And, and that's where you got to – and that's why, like, when you when you look at Klopp, uh, Klopp, uh, Guardiola and Tuchel, that's why they want the, they're the top three managers in, in the Premier League, you know. And, and you know, Pep, Pep and, and Klopp maybe top two in the world because – and Klopp the, doesn't have the depth as, as well. That's what I was about to mention. City, but that's what I was meant to. That's what I was about to mention. But even even if Klopp decides to put um, Origi or or Ox or Ox in, or they still know their role. They, or yeah, or they yeah. they still know their role because they they have some sort of system. And this is and and maybe and maybe maybe we maybe I don't give Klopp a lot of credit with his plan B. Maybe we gotta look at the people upstairs. Any credit? Who, yeah. No, no, I do give him credit. I said he's the he's the best manager in the league and in the world probably at the moment. <laughs> but um, it, if he had, maybe if he had the the uh, players with a bit more quality, like your Chelsea, see too sure. You, like Kev, you just mentioned half. You can take half that team out, put half the team in, and it's almost like a city thing where they're going to be playing the same system. Nothing has really changed. You can rest, like Steve was saying. Zich comes in, uh, Pulisic one week. Yeah, no worries. No Lukaku. No Werner. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, Rich James and Mason Mount will start scoring the goals, you know, and and that's mm-hmm. and that's a, uh, that's a big thing, bro. And that's a big thing, and like <laughs> this is when you look at teams like Man United, but you got Oli on the sideline who's nowhere near that level, and that's why you're not getting the best out of them players. And with yeah. with uh, Tuchel, and that's gonna be yeah Arsenal as well to an extent. Arsenal, but I think Arsenal don't got the quality as. Like United, obviously, or any other other, mm-hmm. you, you know, you don't you got, got the quality. You guys have got more depth. That's the thing. Maybe play Arteta play. with our squad. Maybe do you want do you want to swap for a couple of weeks? See how we go. Rotate managers. Oh, no. Relegation <laughs> <battle> again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go, oh, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go back down. It was fun. Relegation's fun, Steve. Huh? No, it was a battle. It was a battle. It was fun. It was, it was, was not too bad. It was, it was, it was at least a battle. <laughs> but yeah, that's exciting. Uh, and that's yeah. the difference, but bro. You guys had players coming back in, right? Like you, you, you knew, had players you coming knew. in. Yeah, yeah. You, you knew there was a bit of both. There was injuries <laughs> or uh, COVID. The back whatever. line, and like, the back line completely changed. So everyone looked at us against City and said, "You got hit for five. I said, "Relax." The whole back line and the goalkeeper has been dumped. It's a complete brand new back line and a new goalkeeper. And since they've come in, um, don't get me wrong, going forward, not the best, maybe, but defensively. Burnley, Norwich, grinded out wins, that kind of thing. We got better. Um, so it was a complete backline. <laughs> we went shopping, man. 
<laughs> yeah. Man, but but that's, that's what you need to do, man. I, I remember you guys did something similar many years back when United got the A2 victory. The yeah. next week, you bought like six players. And Arteta was, I think, one of them. Uh, I think at that time, <laughs> like he, that's when he came Squad in. player. Like, we, needed, we needed like a... Back then, we needed someone that's like now, like a James Milner. And we bought Arteta from Everton. Um, we had injuries like you wouldn't believe when we played you guys. It was a fucking... It was kids. Um, yeah, but Walcott scored and Van, Van, Van Persie missed the pen, Walcott, yeah? Walcott's the best. I love Walcott. He was, he was your best player, bro. Best. He was your, the best youngster yeah. at your club. He was a gun. <laughs> gun, bro. So, yeah, look, we... <laughs> hey, you guys no, want him no, back, apparently. Yeah, Ox, you want Ox back, apparently, I'm hearing. No, 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 that's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. That's they might give him... Might, right, like, undefeated since the 5-0? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You guys? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so... We've, we've had draws, yeah, but... No, More draws than Ikea, once off. again. Well, I think that was six clean sheets also. Yeah, we've had we've, we've, we've been pulling in clean sheet after clean sheet. It was Burnley, Norwich clean sheets, Brighton clean sheet. Um, Palace was 2-2. Was, was uh, Leicester was a clean sheet. Aston Villa, we had a goal scored against us. So um, we're actually looking very good defensively. That's why I keep saying defensively I'm sound. But again... Lockwood just to kill the game off. Against Liverpool. Just to kill the against, game off. Yeah, we have to kill this game off, but against Liverpool, against a Chelsea and a City, it ain't going to be easy. United. We can't allow that, that much possession to be handed over to another team and to sit back. And what are you team, laughing, bro? Come on. Because I said United. I'm, actually, I'm laughing how he didn't mention United. Because I actually would have put United in that combination there. No, I, I, look, I rate United, but the problem I see with United, not, not the problem... I see him playing this new formation against Tottenham and I like it. What's scary is both wingers, decent wingers, are sitting on the bench and they're not getting a look in. That doesn't matter. They're still scoring this goals. This formation won't I'll judge it. it won't, but you know what? I'm saying three more games. I just want to see what's going to happen because I know Varane is key to you guys. Is Maguire going to look better with Varane beside him? That's all I'm looking for. Is Maguire going to be like Ben White is with Gabriel? Because Ben White without Gabriel doesn't have to go left or right. And Maguire at the moment looks like he needs someone like a Varane, and correct me if I'm wrong, to tell him, stay where the fuck you are. He needs an E piece. He need, someone has to get Maguire an E piece, him, and, him, and, him and Luke Shaw. Behind him and say, you fucking <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? that's, but that's why he's the center of the three, right? Like he, he just, yeah. he's bossing it. He's just like, this is. But he wasn't though. I, I think Lindelof yeah. was. I think Linda, uh, wasn't Lindelof the was center it, of the three? Var- was, wasn't Varane in the middle? I think Lindelof oh, was, I bro. I saw Varane a lot more center. Maybe they changed. I don't know I when thought, I saw. I thought Lindelof was to his right. When the when the lineup came out, we'll go. We'll get into it. Yeah, we'll get into it. And um, yeah. Damo now can have his say and and, and can rip in. Even though it was <laughs> it was a it was a win, um, it's still I'm, I'm still not really smiling about that victory to be can honest. Taint it, Damo. Please taint it. <laughs> Man, taint I think Butcher's the bus is booked again, right? He's booked the bus. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah, it on layby. It's on. Yeah, the deposit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, bro, all right, we'll start off with the United game, right? I actually like. I think, it, oh, you know, maybe you guys didn't expect it, but I expected this result from United. I, I thought two at least. This was the biggest. Last week was probably had to be the biggest wake up call. The El Sakiko, um, and guess well, who won that? <laughs> guess who won that? But um, this game to me. And hopefully the United players made him realise that, you know what, we need to get Ronaldo on the ball as much as possible. Not just leave him up there as a number nine because the assist, which, all right, his goal was just class because he has that class that no one else on the field could do that, right? But the assist there, I feel like a lot of other players wouldn't have tried to split the defence, which created a lot more time for Cavani to chip the keeper. And, man, like, he just needs to get on the ball a lot, lot more. The other times when he's been playing alone up top, I feel like he just has been a bit of a waste because you can't find him half the time, you know? Yeah, yes, yeah. you can whip across into him and no one's going to beat him aerially. But, like, in this game, I don't know, man. It was very... Yeah, look, look. On the ball doing these we'll, get into the, we'll get into the shape and the lineup and all that. But Kev, obviously last week he wasn't pretty. Um, but I want to get your thoughts, bro, because you were telling me in the group chat that it was like watching Sunday League. And as, as soon as you sent that, Ronaldo decided to... To hit hit the back stick there, but um, there's a lot of truth, bro. No, no, and this is and this is what I was telling people. What did I say in the group chat straight away? Um, this is Conte football, and now obviously yeah, uh, we know Nuno got sacked. 
Yeah, that's just, that's just happened right before we started the pod. Nuno's been sacked and Conte now. Uh, Spurs are going back in for Conte. Um, and the one reason, I, I, I know Conte's won, I think he's won five leagues out of the last seven years. In the last seven years, he's won five, five leagues everywhere he's gone, right? Now, yes, he's won the league. Yes, he can probably get the best. Look, he's a world-class manager. And you'll take it, to be honest, at the moment, <laughs> you've you probably got 20... Let's say 15, 15 managers, 15 managers in the Premier League that can take, you know, they're probably better than Oli, right? But I look at Conte and I know Rami and, and Seba wanted Conte in, but get ready because that, that's what you're going to watch. You might get the results, no guarantees you're going to win the league, you might get results, yeah. but then come January, sell Sancho, put Greenwood on loan because there's no use for him anymore in this sort of shape. Yeah, it might. And that's it, what I was saying to Steve, like I don't think the formation is going to last that long, dude. Like I think <coughs> I think it was fit for purpose for this game. And, and the, the problem it. is, yeah, the, yes, like it's good. It's good if it, it will be a whole different that's story. That's a plan B. That, that's yeah, yeah, be your plan that's B, right. But do you know what, Steve? And then you have an A. Yeah, but yeah. The, the problem is he's never used this before. Yeah. He's never used it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But there is, bro. There is because you've never used it before. So you, you've never planned for this ever. The only reason you're doing this now is because you're saving yourself. So now there's no, now, like now he, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't no, give a shit. He wants to win games. No, 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 no. I you're not getting, no, no. You're not understanding what I'm saying. What there's no, pl he had no plan to ever use this formation ever. But because now his job he is on the desperate. line, he got desperate. And this is the only reason he's using it. Right, it's not because he, of course he wanted to win, but he these are the, the this is what he should have done last week. Understand. Why didn't he do this he last week? Have Sancho for this, yeah. Yeah, so you're chasing you're chasing a right winger, but now you're going to play a formation all of a sudden that doesn't include Sancho, yeah, yeah, no Rashford, right? <laughs> but like, yeah. this is what he should have done last week. This is what he should have done last maybe last year against. It's very hard to say Spurs, but last year when you got you're losing six one to Spurs, you didn't even change it up. You went into the second against Liverpool. Second half, how'd you start? The same way you, uh, the same way you started the first. Yeah, but what do you want him to do, bro? Like, it's, the game's already over. There. Yeah, but you didn't, you didn't change it up. Managers, in-game management, you change it up. There's what was it? There was a game. If the, the game's still alive. The, apparently, if okay. Alive, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah but, uh, but you, you, you want to, you want your players there to. You got it. Yeah, but bro. All right, let's just say. Point. Yeah, you you just put the five in the back, it. shut the gates, but you put on Pogba and Cavani to try to score your goals and win the game. Forget it, the game's done, you said. He even came out and said, after four nil was over. <laughs> okay, well, all right. But like, I, I, was, I was listening to a story about Graham Potter when I think he might've been, it might've been in like a, the Norwegian or Swedish league, wherever he was coaching before he came to the Prem or wherever, that in one game, in one game, he changed it up three times, the formation. And Steve, you know it yourself, Every game this season, he's changed up the formation, and the players yep. have all adapted into different so, yep. into every four four twos, every whatever's time. you know four two three one, whatever it might be. The players come it's in and they know their, they position. know their roles. Yeah, and you yeah. when you did your when you did your review, no, this is because they. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, no, and that's what I'm saying. And um, with Oli, this if if we if we beat you know let's just say we beat Ali, uh, Leicester. Lost to Liverpool, but it was it was only like a it was a close game, you know, a two one. He doesn't change this. He, he, it's it's a four three three against Spurs again. So the, the and this is what I'm saying. He he's never planned for it. This formation he never planned. If you if we've seen it back in the day, all right, he's done it a few times this season. He's done it last season a few times. He's come in. Yeah. He's got the players that like I don't even I don't even think he's got the players to play this formation. Yeah, but what happens when our centre back gets injured? What Luke Shaw comes in and then what Teller's on the on the wing on the on the left uh, left wing back? God forbid he uses well, Eric Bailly. There Jesus you go. Christ. And this is and, and this is what I'm saying. This is the problem. And this is the problem. But like, look, we got the win. I was I didn't celebrate any any goal because I don't think now like even <laughs> as much as I I not that I not I was like an Oli in. I wouldn't say Oli in, but I, I kind of more criticised the players uh, than I do the manager. But last week, performance and result was a sackable offence. So I won't be celebrating no goals. Yeah, there's, no, till, there's nothing to be like joyous something. about. That's right. That's there's right. 
nothing to be joyous about. Like that last week still hurts, and Tottenham weren't weren't anything special. So, and we still saw the McFred thing. So you know, yeah, he changed it up and <laughs> save your job. Time, you I play McFred, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't, don't want Matic come on, but work. yeah, yeah. When and, Matic and, and, came on, it was bad, and that's what kills me. Sorry to cut you off there. No, that shits so- me. That Matic doesn't get a look in, and I know everyone's going to say, oh, Matic, I rate Matic. I think he's yeah. okay. I think he no, no, get a look in over one of those players. Not both, but yeah. at least one. Against certain He solidifies things. the midfield, man. He's not a fucking... He's not a push in the park. He's half decent. And he got an assist in that game, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, you got the shoot. assist. Yeah. And, but, and, these are, and these are the things, mm, bro. Like, Merry and this is what... This is what a lot of, a, a lot of fans were, were, were criticizing Ali about, about his in-game management, not to take off players when they... Bro, 70th minute, Ronaldo comes off... I think Bruno as well, 70th minute, um, Kev, comes off as well. Yeah. Some people yeah. might say, you're crazy to take these guys. Yes, I know you're 2-0 up. I was, I was happy. Yeah, but this is what we needed to expect from the start of the season. You got the quality on the on, – on, like, trust the players. You got Donny there. You got you got, <laughs> you got your, your, your Rashfords. Bloke, you got your Rashfords yeah, and you got your um, Sanchez on the bench. You got to use them. There's and Greenwood, like against and, and Greenwood. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's sitting there hanging out. But you got last week. Was it against Liverpool, right? Pogba's on the bench, ninety million. Donny's on the bench, forty million. Sancho on the bench, seventy-five million. How much millions are on the bench against Liverpool? That's a good point. That's a good point. The Donny Van Der Beek thing, yeah, I don't understand. If someone could explain that to me, because I remember when you guys signed him, and I was and I was looking, I was thinking, this guy's a great player. But he got what five, six games, and then not even never if that. Again. Yeah. Not even. He's and probably and all, all his minutes combined. Yeah, go, wait, go on, Damo. Go on, Damo. Go. Go on. No, no, I'm gonna say like I understand. There's always like there's politics behind everything, right? That's probably why Donny's mm. not playing. But these guys are at the training ground every single day. I don't care how much they're worth. If they're good enough to play, you have them in exactly. the eleven. So obviously, like Ollie's not a dumb cunt, man. He's a manager. Like I know he hasn't been a manager of a massive club before, but he still knows football. So if these guys are performing at training or these players are believing in that whatever system he's trying to, you know, pitch to them, then that's why they're playing. So the players who you're leaving on the bench, like your Sancho's, maybe he hasn't done the job. There's a reason why he's not playing. On paper, yes, you want him on the field. Like, I understand why the fans want him yeah. on the field, but do you guys think that at the training ground or whatnot, there's, I don't know, too many egos? Like, to me, Pogba doesn't deserve to start. He doesn't start for you guys. I don't care how much he costs. Like, there's all those like he, he plays in different formation for me. I, I, I you know agree I mean? with the like, Pogba thing. I agree with the Pogba thing. I hate him, not because of anything, because he's got so much potential and doesn't show up. But the Sancho thing, when I see him on the field in the wrong position, and everything changes when he comes on. He comes on in the left wing, <laughs> and all of a sudden, yeah, and, yeah, and this is and all the players, are, and he's moving on the wrong side. I think. Imagine yeah. if he was on the right fucking side, what he could do. And I get that. I look, I think, it. And this is why he's this is your. He's only got a few minutes. He's only got like yeah. change of time, and he's yeah. making a difference. And, and this is the I thing, Damo. Damo, when you were saying Ronaldo needs to get more on the ball, or the ball needs to go into him a lot more. Now, with a with a two up front, like we've seen against Spurs, where you got Cavani there, uh, you you know you can bounce off him. Cavani's going. Cavani's doing all the dirty work. He's making all the runs. Where players, are, if you look at that first goal, Cavani makes makes a few runs. Defenders are focusing focusing on him, or do I get him, or do you get him? While Ronaldo is making mm-hmm. that run at the back stick, and I think there's a lot of things change for me in this game. Where last last week, Ronaldo, if if, he, if Ronaldo got the same chance that he got against Spurs, he's probably offside because he's, he can't be bothered getting back onside. And we've seen it a lot from Ronaldo this season. Yeah. So Ronaldo, oh, there. Yeah, Ronaldo is there. So yeah, I but you scrap, scrap last week, bro, because you can't really. No, no. I, okay, last week, but last week. Um, every bro, every game, every game. There's, there's times where Ronaldo, he, he, you could say maybe he's a little bit frustrated that he's not getting the ball. But if he just comes on side, he can Bruno or someone can slip him the ball and he's away. Like we almost which seen you did for the goal, which he did for the goal, which he did, did for, the goal. for the goal. Yeah, yeah. Ran back on that's what I'm saying, and that's that's something Cavani. different. And that's also, Cavani. also how Rashford scored. Also, yeah, but and this is what I'm saying. Cavani, there was a change. Side, there was a change in the players. This week, right? There's a change. I've seen a change in the players that now forget about tactics and man, who the manager is and what's happening, at least for yourself, pride and for, for the club that you're playing for. Because all week you're giving me bullshit apologies on your Twitter accounts. 
show me that you show me that you want to play now i know people and it, it, it's typical when united win it's always because the other team was poor and we've seen it again our oh, spurs were poor but at the end of the day it is it's spurs spurs got players mm. players on that field like harry kane and song that you give him half a chance and they could take it right but um and, and, we, and, and we we've we've defensively go on. Zero shots on target yeah, like if Son didn't have his shooting boots on, we yeah. one at the near stick and the other one on one. Like he scored those two yeah, in the game, right? And what were you saying with Ronaldo before? If you play, if if you play Sancho on the right, he Ronaldo will get more balls. Ronaldo will get that service. If you look at, so does that mean you're gonna? You're gonna no, because Sancho is in the selfish in? player. No, no, but, no. but bro, not a selfish player. That's one thing I've noticed with him. He's not selfish. Whether He's whether the balls Greenwood has got a selfish tendency, this little one. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing as well. But it's not it's not so much whipping the balls in, it's maybe playing through. It doesn't always have to be over the top, but it, it's it's creativity that he, that will allow Ronaldo more space where he can be one on one pass. rather than two on one or whatever the situation may be. He just <clears throat> with Sancho he, you get that respect yeah, where he's the back. If you look at yeah, if yeah. you look at that goal that we scored against Atalanta Against Atalanta, this, the second goal, the Maguire goal, if you look at that goal, Bruno has the ball out on the sideline, right? And then plays it to plays it to Sancho. Now, because Sancho is that far onto the sideline, players get dragged dragged across now to defend, which now has to, which now the, the players in the box are looking over at Ronaldo and it's like, all right, let's double up on him. While they double up, you have players free in the back. And that's what that's what Sancho gives you. Sancho gives you the width. Where in, 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 in um, when Greenwood's there or a couple of seasons ago when we had one Mata playing, Lingard playing on the right, if you look at the a- average positioning of, of the team, they're always back into the centre, always always tucked in and that space is always free. But when when Sancho is there, I think, look, he hasn't been given enough time. Let's be honest. The last two games he's been on the bench. But this formation... Dude, it's round 10. Round 10 of his first season. Like Lukaku started straight away. He hasn't had Lukaku started 100 million. Has he played in this league? Lukaku has played in this league. Yeah, yeah uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, has he started a game in the EPL? I think he has, think yeah. Two. Yeah, he has. But has he's got, he, I, okay, I he got he slinged off. Um, but yeah, look, he does need more game time. But um, yeah, look, and we know. We know what Ronaldo is capable of, yeah? Marketing player, I'm going to give you that. Let's be real. He's there for to sell the shirts. He's got the quality. Now he's got, but he's not a pogba. <laughs> yeah, but at least he puts in a performance. And like I said, Damo, bro, why all he needs is half a chance, and Ronaldo gets them goals. Yeah, and yeah, and and, and, and a lot of the a lot of the time, a lot of the time, it's a lot of the time, it's if Ronaldo's playing, you're usually at one goal up, or the United already have a goal, right? Uh, the the goal that he scored against Liverpool, even though it was offside, debatable. But he, he, it's always him. It seems to be always Ronaldo, right? Yeah, no one else is doing it. Yeah, but now in but this game, that, actually, I don't mind this lineup because when you when you look at it, man, you've got a workhorse in Cavani up top, and no other egos on the pitch across your midfield. You look at your midfield or the five, whatever it was, and on paper, it was like three five two, wasn't it? Yeah, you're thinking what's like what's going on, right? You're not you're not going to win this game when you look at that. Yeah, but that's what I actually like because I think you've got too many big name players who are being forced to start the games. When, and I'm including Greenwood in this big name player because he's set that upon himself now with the way he plays and his, um, his effort on the pitch, right? He's a talent. He's a talent. Yeah, yeah. He's talent, but he's lazy also. And that I think that's been a downfall for you guys because he doesn't do the running. When you're playing with the three up top, Ronaldo is isolated up there and your left winger and right winger, um, they don't really help him out unless they have the ball at their feet, which they don't want to play it to him all the time. But if so you play this formation, formation, if you play this yes. formation, then you're talking about Greenwood, Sancho, Martial, Rashford. Um, they're not playing. They're not playing. They're not going to oh, play. No, but no, but no, not necessarily. If you play a three-five-two, well, wing you back. You put Sancho right wing back. They won't play wing backs. They won't. <laughs> no, they won't uh, run back. No, no, I, I, no. I reckon Sancho could probably run back. I'm not saying Greenwood would. I reckon Sancho would. Yeah, but bro, come on. Sancho Look, back. Sancho, but Sancho. A striker. So that's why. Yeah, but Sancho. He's on the bench. He's a striker. Yeah, but then you're saying put everyone saying leave Cavani and Ronaldo up front, right? We, you know, come on, let's be let's be real. You're not gonna put you're not gonna put Jaden Sancho right wing back. Now you can tell me he comes back and he's, I think he's got the best stats from dropping for dropping back and covering or win, whatever. It was some, some stat about him dropping. Back. Yeah, but bro, you're not gonna play him instead of Wan Bissaka. Yeah, you I must know, be mad. Seventy five million to play a wing back for you. 
It's not like with Victor Moses where he crossed peanuts and just whip him there and you had someone like, uh, who was it, Conte that can turn him into a good player. You're talking about Oli. Oli's not going <laughs> to change yeah, someone. You've got to remember who the guy in the anything. dugout is as well, you know? And like, this is, the, look, let's not get this wrong. This works. He bought these players. Yeah, but he, he, he yeah, players. but this, this um, formation works in certain games. Yeah, Sancho doesn't have yeah. to start every week. Greenwood doesn't have to start every week. It could be it could be Ronaldo Rashford up front and Cavani this week. You have a rest. I reckon Martial and Ronaldo up front in a two. Would, this would definitely suit Martial better to play with Ronaldo there. The link up play that he does, he's back towards goal. I think Martial will do a good job. Yeah, you can rest players, but then it, it's not sustainable. Not every single game you can do this. Maybe maybe against City, maybe you might get the result playing like this against City. Yes, right. Hit him on the counter attack. Um, Bruno and oh, when you go back to a three when you go back to a 4-3-3 uh, three, three, and with Bruno almost playing like that false nine Bruno's got to be a lot more disciplined he's not disciplined at all when he, in, in a 4-3-3 in a three, yeah. three. he's too far up front uh, Fred and McTominay are too, too deep you can put the Titanic in between the fucking midfield there and then and then what we're all, we're, we're all over the place because Rashford doesn't drop down uh, Greenwood doesn't come back and it's all over the joint but now, I don't know what it is. Maybe Varane, like you said, Steve, Varane's come in, settled the ship in the back a little bit. Um, Spurs, we'll see. People might say it's, it's just Spurs. Now, like they said, it was it, when Liverpool uh, rocked up, this is going to be the next task for Oli. His job's on the line. I don't know what he's still doing here, to be honest, but he's got he's, he's to get, he's gotta get the result now. Credit, man, for, for coming back, you would have lost a couple of the players in the dressing room, right? Or, and everyone's heads would have been down after that. But like, you've got to give him some credit because he didn't put his hand up for the role, right? He got put in this role. <laughs> he put he both hands up. up a little bit, but Star jumps. You know the his club wanted up. him got to it. be there. The club and the fans wanted him to be there. And he did a job to, to obviously earn his contract, right? With, I don't even know, whatever that ridiculous record was with how many wins. But 27, 28. Now, just to clarify, yeah, I went back and watched when Mourinho got okay. sacked and I did say... I don't think Oli should get the job. Just to clarify, I got receipts, so don't put me in that conversation. Oh, I'm glad you clarified it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, so when Oli, <laughs> wait a minute. So when, if Oli wins the league this season, we've got those receipts. Yeah, we've got them receipts. I said he shouldn't be in the job because <laughs> Zidane and Pochettino yeah, in the conversation. Yeah, you, you weren't saying that in the group chat. A couple of weeks later. <laughs> no, oh, it was a couple of weeks later. It wasn't. It was. It was it wasn't a couple of weeks later. But my point. My point was never Oli in. It was never because of Oli in. It was my. Go back. I'll let everyone else watch it. I'll let everyone else watch it. Remove the message. <laughs> now he's recording a new one. Recording audio. But um, go on. Do you still want? Sorry. Do you guys still think he should be gone? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying just because he won the game. I'm saying because he lost to Liverpool. Like, it's a sackable offense, bro. Let's be real. I don't care. Bro. It's not just that. Look, I I backed. I didn't. My, my backing for my backing for the manager was because you gave him you gave him a, you gave him all this time, you gave him the players or, or you let him rebuild. He's got the rebuild. Like you can't be doing worse than you're doing last season with with the team that you got. You got to now make it work, right? Um, I gave him the chance, bro. I said this year he needs to deliver silverware by the by Christmas. By Christmas, he needs to be there, thereabouts. Not, I'm not talking eight points. I'm talking one or two points, maximum three points a game from, from first spot. He's not looking like that. Anything's changing now. He's yeah, never changed anything. He's got favourites. He's got favourites who, who he plays. He's playing players injured. Um, it's, it's not benefiting our team any sort of way. If, if he was changing tactics, like Kev w would always say, his in-game management, if he changed it up against, you know, um, Villa, Arsenal, Villa or Everton where, where we need to get the results when we're at home. You know, when I speak about, oh, you're at home, Liverpool. Well, you're at home, Man United. Sort yourselves out. Nothing changed. And it's not, and it hasn't, it hasn't been just this season. It's been every other season. Now I know he's been chopping and changing players, but this is now his team, bro. There's no more excuses. I said at the start, hey, there's no more excuses. You can, beat, you can beat City this week. You can beat Atalanta uh, uh, on Wednesday. You can beat City on the weekend. Uh, then I think I think we might have Watford after international break. Then Chelsea, you can win all them games. I still think now, even if you win all of them, that five nil is a sackable offence. 
I'm sorry, bro. Like you can't bro, be losing, yeah, and not only, not only, not only you 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 were losing four nil, three nil. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything to change it up. You you put in you, you, your subs look, the subs. The subs, yeah, the subs were completely subs were, like your four nil, your four five nil, and you're putting on Cavani what to try get you six goals. What, what, what are we doing now? Rashford to try score you what? Like I don't, and these are these are the things, Damo. Like you know me, I'm always I'm always putting it on the players first. Bro, who do you ex- bro, who do you expect him to bring on? Like you've just like I think that game. It's like you know what? Who needs minutes? But bro, it's not the. But it's not the. Bro, bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> Newcastle la- the last season with Jose, two 0 down, thirtieth minute. Baye, you're off. Thirty first minute. Mourinho yeah, was like that. Done the same to Maguire. Done the same. Like Maguire, Maguire, game, Maguire right? 20th minute against Leicester should have been taken off. 20th minute. Don't care if you're captain, bro. you got to be, you, as a manager, stop, st- because he's the captain or because he's Mr. England or whatever, whatever fucking your excuse is for why he's on the pitch. You can't have that, bro. Live, um, um, but that's never going to happen, man. But that never needs happen. to happen. It needs to happen because big big managers make Klopp because. Would have been, Klopp would not be in Henderson. Yeah, that but. Happened 20 minutes in. He would not do it. But bro, yeah, you, but you, Liverpool. If Henderson pull. was like that for eight weeks straight, he would. Yeah, he that's a good point. I was play. about to say that. Yeah, Henderson, Henderson's missed that ball retention, bro. He doesn't lose the ball, and he scored a fucking banger after I gave him praise that he's a Brazilian. See what he's do, see what I do for you, for you Liverpool fans. <laughs> the passion merchant <laughs> scores a. What are you? What are you oh, come on, bro. Come on. But and that's yeah, the thing, no, bro. No, bro. They tried support us. I say, I said, Jordan Hendo Nino. He's he's back. He's back. Like, I think literally what he said after the press conference against against us. He said we're at the lowest of lows. But I feel like I'm Who's close that? to, to Who? getting what I want. This is Ole. Oh. Said this. Oh, close, right? close to what, brother? Rat? Close to what? Now, uh, what, hey, what's he close to? Game, what's he close to? Next game, he For what? Lineup, You're closer to the relegation zone and again. And gets the result. You got Arsenal the chasing result. your fucking tail. It's not acceptable, it's bro. Not I'm, not saying saying gonna work I'm, City, dude. I'm not saying he's the man for the job. Like long, oh, that's that's evident. But there's no one better out there. And if he turns up and gets a result against City, you're going to be fucking cheering. And if it continues to get you... Look, dude, you're always going to cheer when your team wins. You're always going to cheer when your team wins. Right. But dude, this it? guy's... He's, he's broken. He's broke. Like, it's broken. It's broken now. It's not It's not breaking. It's broken. That 5-0... Put some cue bond was, on that, Steve. ...was the break. It, it, it broke then. It was done. What? Nine games <laughs> into the season? Yeah. With, with him as the manager, if with this team... If he didn't add Varane, Sancho, and Ronaldo to the squad and we lost yeah. 5-0... I wouldn't be saying this, but he's got those three players. He doesn't know which lineup to play, Damo. He's got the likes of Sancho sitting on the bench. He's got Pogba sitting on the bench. He's got Van der Beek who can't play. He's got... Um, <laughs> he can, Liga but he chooses not to. In the form of his life... He's just not allowed eight to. Months ago. Yes. Like, he, he, he doesn't know how to... Martial is, is... Does Martial even play football anymore? Like, that's that's what he's done to this squad. Like it's it's no matter how no matter what happens, McFred play, no matter what happens, Maguire plays, you know, and even even mm. to an extent, the the left and right back, Wan Bissaka and and Luke Shaw, no matter what happens, they yeah. they play. Bro, he Dude, didn't like, know he, he, he didn't know who his number one was. If it wasn't for Henderson getting getting COVID or whatnot injured. at the start at the st- or or injured, then he'll still be he'll still be coming out saying oh. They, they, yeah, they're both my number ones. They're, they're both my number one keeper. No, you can't have that. Pick one, sack the other one because one of them's not going to... Like you brought in... You took Henderson away from Sheffield. Sheffield United, they were killing it. They were doing well. They got relegated. He was a big part. He was a big part why they got relegated because he wasn't there last season, right? And it's like, what are you going to do now? Are you playing him? You're not playing him? In, in the cup game, you're still choosing the Haya. Well, what's, what's going on? And this, he didn't even know where his, which his goalkeeper was. And I know that Haya was in bad form. Then pick one. Say, all right, now nah, you know what? Moving forward, we're gonna go with Henderson. Moving forward, and then De Gea now can yeah, and let De Gea fight for his spot. Fight for his spot, which he has. Yeah, he's put, he felt the pressure, and now it's looking like he's coming back to his best. And these are the things, bro. All these things kind of add up and pile up over the years. And now, like, uh, I just I, I said on another podcast, I said that this this hard fixture run that we got. They won't even if he, even if he loses all of them, they still won't sack him because our our inept board uh, and whoever's upstairs don't have no plan, don't have no idea of who to bring in. There's no there's no plan. They're probably sitting there saying, "Oh, is there is there a problem? Oh no, 
So who do we bring in? Yeah, so and then they look. They, they go on Twitter team. and say what manager's trending. Uh, why do why 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 don't you think they didn't get Conte in? Because Conte comes in and sets them straight. Conte will leave if he doesn't get what they want. He's that ruthless. He's another Mourinho in in terms of how he re, how he reacts. He's he's, he's taking the Chelsea ball to court. <laughs> You know, he's done the same thing with Inter Milan. He wanted out and, he, and he's put his foot down and he makes that known. He makes it known into the public. Now, like with Oli, because the owners don't know fuck all about football, Oli can go in and go, oh yeah, look, out, out, out the plan is this. Make it sound all fancy, throw in some fancy words. And the boards are like, oh wow, yeah, you're the guy. That's why he's still here. If Oli was in this run at Liverpool, at Bayern, maybe not Liverpool, but if it was at City, Bayern Munich, Barcelona with this run, Kuman just got the sack. Dude, he got sacked from Cardiff. What are you talking about? Or what was it, Cardiff? Norwich. Where was he? Yeah, Cardiff. It was Cardiff. Cardiff? It was Cardiff. He wasn't good enough for Cardiff. And they made the cuts, bro. Later. They made the cuts. And yeah. uh, at any big club, <laughs> all right, even Cardiff, like, he, like Kev just said, gave him the He's sniff, mate. League team. Yeah, see you later, dude. You're not good enough. And that's the thing, bro. It's yeah. not just. It's not just. Oh yeah, but we won against Spurs. You know, everyone was just no, no, telling no, me that they. I understand yeah. that. If he was gonna get sacked, he was gonna get sacked before Liverpool, just because should, any football fan watching the game. He should have got like, sacked. He should have like, literally, should have maybe got sacked after the Europa League final. But he hasn't. And I don't, he think hasn't. A, I, don't think, I don't think you're going to get a he better hasn't. manager like this season. Like, I don't know who you're going to... Uh, so the, the, who's available? Yeah, the the thing is is do you know... Let, let, the, 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 all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the, the thing is... The thing is... Jumping on, every, everybody jumped on the Conte bandwagon, right? And I think the only reason they jumped on the bandwagon for Conte is because he's the only one available. Yeah, but, but the, the thing, thing is... Conte is I, I, I think Conte... Sorry to cut you off, but I think Conte is not a bad coach, but I think Conte is the kind of guy who says, I'm going to come in, I'm the new Mourinho... I want 150, 180 million. I'm going to spend the way I want. I'm going to make it. I'm going to play the football I like. The problem is at Man United is they want to play a certain style of football. They want to play a certain style of football. They don't want to sit back like fucking Mourinho likes to start like that style, like Conte does, right? And to be perfectly honest, they've just spent how much on this squad? For them to go and shell out another 150, 200 million to change everything and probably and, even and more to change the complete look of the whole squad yeah, and, because and gonna, the whole squad's probably going to go in the bin. Yeah. And what are you going to get for these players that are out of form? So that's why it's going to be too... And even Tottenham, he's at Tottenham now, let's say, right? Come on, man. They're going to have to promise him so much shit. He won't last there. Tottenham, well, Tottenham went from Jose Mourinho to BTEC Mar Jose Mourinho to Mourinho 2.0. I don't know what they're going 2 .0, for here. exactly. Yeah, but I went from Nuno, another Portuguese, now they go to another 2.0 Jose. But that's that Spurs. That's Spurs. But yeah. um, that's United, bro. That's United. I mean, <laughs> we got the win. <laughs> we that tune hasn't changed much. <laughs> nah, and, and it won't, bro. And I'm telling you now, it won't. Yeah. And look, and that's why none of, none of the banter bothers me because I know, <laughs> I know where my club's at. You know, and this is why I give stick to Liverpool yeah. because they should, do, they should be doing better. You know, with the manager they got yeah, and all that, <laughs> but um, wrap it, wrap it up with this one, boy. That's the yeah, I was, I was, and that's what I'm saying, bro. Like we know, we know where our club is at. Um, so a win, even a win against City, I'll be happy for that moment. If we do win, are we? That's a whole other story, um, because they lost this week as well, so they're gonna be looking to bounce back. Um, but yeah, look in terms of. In terms of with the Oli, I still, regardless what he does again in the next couple of games, I think they need to be looking for someone else. And um, and yeah, bro, that, that, that's my thoughts. Yeah, we got the three points. Fantastic. Rashford got his goal. My boy Rashi on the score sheet again. Um, three different uh, goal scorers. Yeah, three different goal scorers. Positive. The formation assists is not from? sustainable. How many players? Yes, three. How many assist, three. assists from different players? But can they, yeah. can they do that again? Can they do like I said with Arsenal? Yeah, look, like I said with Arsenal, you guys beat Tottenham. I, I said you guys beat Tottenham. Do that again. And what happened against Brighton? Then what happens against well, the next yeah. game? You guys drew to Palace. Let, do that again. Let That's back right. it up. And this is what my team needs to do now. Let City come here. It's and get the win. Shape. And get shape. get the it's win. Shape. Yeah, and look, the shape was a lot better. <laughs> it wasn't no A League logos this time. It was uh, actually, you know, we can see some sort of <laughs> lines between between uh, <laughs> midfield, the fence, and all that. We can see the shape. Style. Not no A League, no A League football here. But um, any yes. any final words, Kev, with <laughs> with our team there, Oli at the wheel. Still, he's still there, no, still turning look. the key. No, no, it's just going to be a long season. Um, you know, regard like you said, Butch, regardless of results, it's it's never going to sit right with us after what happened last week. Um, and with your point, man, we can keep winning games and we'll take the wins along the way. But um, 
we need to start talking to somebody else, whether whether that's for this season or next, um, with the philosophy that he, Ollie's built or without. Um, and we mentioned a couple of weeks ago, he's done the rebuild and thank you. Um, now it's now it's phase two. Let's let's move on. Yeah. Anyways, boys, thanks. I know it's been a long one. Uh, it's been actually a decent week of Premier League football, bro. We've had some even West Ham mm. winning this morning, a massive win there as well. Um, who, what was the other game as well? Le- uh, Le- uh, Leeds, Leeds, Le- Leeds, Norwich, Norwich, mm. Norwich in in the mud. Yeah, um, we, we, yeah, I think we might have to do a relegation uh, show soon because these guys uh, zero wins from <laughs> zero wins from ten along with Newcastle. But Damo, Steve, Kev, thanks for joining me. Uh, Bits and bobs. I was. Um, on earlier and Seba as well that joined us unfortunately couldn't stay on for the Man United talk <laughs> probably better they didn't because of the, you know <laughs> um, but yeah boys look thanks early. thanks for early, huh? <laughs> got out early yeah <laughs> thanks for joining and uh, we'll catch you we'll catch you guys on the next one lads guys everyone else like share subscribe do all the good stuff and we'll see ya see you guys.